Hi everyone and welcome. It is the lovely Tea Tarot Tuesday challenge set by the lovely V Love One Crystals. And this week I thought I would um, show you some of my crystals because I have trained in crystal healing, okay? And I just wanted to share with you because um, it's about tools that assist um, readers, okay, in their readings and everything else and other practices that we do, uh, as, as you know, being tarot readers yourselves out there who mainly tune into these videos. But I wanted to um, talk about crystals and the energy of them, okay? And they always say when you go into a shop um, and you've got like all the crystals there in front of you, and like it's like a kid in a sweet shop isn't you thinking oh you know which one should i go for that with crystals um it's to me it's about you are drawn to what um what crystal energy uh is going to be sort of tuning in on your energy level okay i've just got a few of my crystals in here today um which i'm going to show you but they are live <laughs> energies crystals are okay they amaze me um and when I started studying crystals, okay, um, I was just fascinated because quartz obviously um, is a communication, you know, it's in watches as well. They, they put it in a lot of things, quartz. And when I buy quartz, okay, when I first buy quartz, when I go into a shop, it comes out quite cloudy. Okay, if I can just show you here, the format of it. Okay, it, it tends to be quite cloudy, but after I've worked with it for quite some time, now I've had these crystals now about four years, they start to clear like glass. Now, can you see the difference there? I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. But that one is quite milky, okay, because that's quite a new one. And then this one I've been working with, and it starts to clear, okay. And I have got a couple of pendants here, and, and again, it, when I bought it, it was quite cloudy. And after it's sort of, um, you know, connecting with your inner energy um, sense, basically, then it starts to clear and, and it starts to work with your own energy field. But as I say, it can work, you know, um, with healing properties. Now, I, I'm going to try not to get too, too complicated, but there's a there's a format called Crystal Nets. Okay, and you can Google this. There's all different information on the internet about net, uh, crystal nets and what they can do for you. When I was doing my training, I was put in an amethyst crystal net. Okay, and basically what it was, um, you just lie on the floor on a white sheet. Okay, and eight amethyst stones were placed around my body. Okay, I had one at the head on my head two down by my arms, two down by my lower thighs, okay, and then obviously one on, 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 on uh, around the base of my feet. So I had eight of these amethyst stones placed around me, okay, and I went into this crystal grid having no idea what I was going to experience, and there was music playing in the background to re sort of relax you, but we sort of had people observing us while we were in the net, okay, and vice versa we swapped over but whilst I was in that net I even now it sends goosebumps over my, over my hands I saw what must have been um, my one of my spirit guides at the time and all I can say is I saw this um, Indian chief with all the headgear on top what they wear those great big feather headdresses okay people who are observing me said my eyes was rolling backwards literally the whites of my eyes I, I had gone completely gone and the tears was just streaming down my face and I could feel myself okay like my chest was starting you know like you're crying really and you can't stop crying you start your chest goes all like <laughs> and all that type of scenario so and all I can say was I didn't want to leave, okay? This Indian chief was talking to me and, and saying, no, you need to go back, everything's fine, and, and and everything else, and just saying, you know... And honestly, it changed. It changed my perspective of life. It changed my perspective 
I, I can't even explain now. Like I say, it was just one of those moments that I will never forget. And it was the power of the crystals, okay, and and everything else that I was connecting with at the time. So, the crystals, okay, have got their own energy. They have got their own power. And as I say, um, another thing, what is good and what everybody can do, okay, your bed where you sleep on a night time, if you get um, quartz crystals, and they have to be pointed though, okay, and you turn them inwardly um, around your bed, okay, um, it's called a, like you grid your bed basically, uh, there's certain crystals that you have to have, I will try and drop a link um, of how this is, uh, what you need to set up on this, on this, because it sort of puts a net around you um, to guard you whilst you're sleeping as well, and I sleep a lot better now um you know when i practiced putting nets around my bed my bed space i'm not saying it's going to work for everybody because obviously you have to find your own net and um, there's all different nets you can place around you what will tune in better with your own energies okay it's just a learning process all the time to think that these have been on the planet for billions of years okay now i have got a smoke quartz crystal okay one tier again it's pointed and i've obviously got just a normal clear crystal wand and with this if you get somebody to lie uh, flat on a couch you know like on their massage tables or whatever then you start at the um top the bottom of their feet okay and what you do is you, you sort of get in the negativity energies out of them and it's like basically you start off um and you start off with your smoky quartz, okay? And then you just sort of, it's like you're doing little tiny circles. It's a very, very minute movement. And it's as though um, you do one clockwise and one anti-clockwise. So to get the negativity out, you would go anti-clockwise, okay? Because you're pulling out the negativity of that, of that person. And you do the whole of their body, like it's like a scan, a crystal scan, we call it. And then you go then, and then you go the opposite way, positivity. And then you start putting the positivity positivity in. And when I had this done, you get this tingling sensation. It's like a because obviously we're electrical beings, aren't we? And it was um, this electrical um, energy sense, and it's a cleansing. Okay, you can also use these as as a scan. Literally, go from the top of the body, okay, from the head space, and you you sort of come down, and you can feel it pulling on the chakras where they are blocked okay so you can actually do scans with crystals there's so much that these um magical properties that crystals hold in i just wanted to show you a few this was gifted to me this is just an amethyst piece here this was gifted to me um but and this also was gifted to me this came from a friend from years ago this this has got to be uh gosh 35 40 years old this this stone here i have never worked with this okay even as because you can tell i've not worked with it because it's still got the cloudy aspects on it there is some clearance in it um but this was gifted to me from a, a friend of mine in in the states okay pennsylvania where they live so that was sent to me by them so that is uh that's just like um on a friendship link that was sent, that sent to me so i do treasure that there's this is desert rose crystal and can you see there this is format and it always looks like flower formations this is so delicate here and it is sand how it's formed okay and this is quite expensive to buy in pieces and again this was another gift from a friend of mine um and i'll just hold it like that and it looks like a little bunch of flowers um but yeah so i've got that said uh, desert rose and obviously we've got rose quartz here Okay, but yeah, I've got like, um, I'll just put them in this sort of little box here, but this is, like I say, this is just a, a, a tip of the iceberg of my crystal collection, but obviously I couldn't get, it's all on the table today to show you, but um, I just wanted to, you know, talk about crystals because, you know, it is interesting, and if you haven't worked with them, then I will, I, I would suggest, I will try and get the links on about the crystal nets um and especially the quartz um 
going around your bed and, and netting your bed and, and what crystals you need for that. So that was one of my little things today on the um, on the challenge. Okay, I'm not sure whether it was a prompt, but I, it was just like tools that aid you really. Um, where you know you do see people on the internet, don't you, with their with crystals on their table because obviously you know they are taking the energies from there. So that was one of my little things. The other thing what I've purchased this week, guys, is an, a second-hand deck. And as we know, there's a lot of Chinese uh, fake decks on eBay. But I actually bought this from a lady, and it is an original from um, original deck Hay House. I've never, ever bought a Doreen Virtue deck before, okay? And I saw somebody on Instagram had a card, and I asked them, what deck is that out of, please? And they said to me it was from the Magical messages for the fairies oracle cards so like i say i purchased these i think they cost me about 27 pounds here in the uk um and i just love the cards like i say i saw them on instagram and they have got an, um, a sort of dated you know like the cards today are quite digital a lot of the new ones okay but you can even see like they're they look vintage looking um these cards do uh, but I just like the elements because, um, as you know, I do do my fairy oracles. Uh, and May 2020, my readings this month are based on the fairy oracles. And I did feel like these had a fairy feel to them, that fey feel to them. Um, so I thought to myself, I'll have this as my first, um, like I say, it's by Doreen Virtue. She's made loads of cards, hasn't she, over the years. I've never really been one attracted to her decks. I don't know why. Um, but this, like I say, this is the first deck. So I thought I'd share that with you today. I did like the edging on that with the gold. Um, but what I thought I'd do is I would shuffle these and we'll just get the energy for today, my lovelies, for the tea tarot. Tuesday girls and boys, mostly girls though, I think, who are coming on this, uh, on this um, challenge, okay? And just see what the vibe is around us today, my lovelies. So let's have one of these cards. Just see what the energy is out there for everybody today. On the Tea Tarot Tuesday Challenge by the lovely V-Love and Crystals. Let's have a look then. And we have Winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realised in the winter months. So obviously we're leaving winter now, aren't we? Going into spring. Um, so this is the card that's been pulled out for us lovely people today then. Just saying that the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realised in the winter months. And I suppose when you look at it though, when we look at the winter, it is a time of where we rest, isn't it? We rest and reflect on the year that has, we've gone through, the struggles and everything that we've, you know. We, I always look at um, going through the year uh, as like I've survived another year. And with everything that's going on in the world uh, at the moment, when we do get to um, Christmas time again, it will be a big reflection on all of us really, won't it? Um, because, you know, we're in May nearly now. And, you know, half the year we, we're, not, we're not sort of going on to nearly half the year is already gone and we haven't been able to enjoy it as much as we should do with the current world events that are going on so maybe the winter card is saying here that you know when we do get to christmas this year that we do say those prayers and affirmations that you know that we have you know survived what's gone on at the start of this year so that may be like a message for all of us for reflection in this winter to come, my lovelies. So yeah, I just wanted to share those cards. So what I'm going to share with you now is, there's a, a girl on my uh, Instagram and YouTube channel called Haunted Whispers. And she does some lovely crocheting, some really creative things, okay? Now, I can knit, but not very good. And I did say to Melissa, her name is Blessa, I'm putting a shout out for you, Melissa, that um, knitting for me, okay, I'll start off, say, with 200 stitches on my knitting needle and I have trouble with tension. I'll start off and then it gets tighter and I can't even get the knitting needle through the wall, okay. And then 
like I said, the last <laughs> the last thing I tried to knit, I've got an old um, porcelain toilet system since the house was built, okay? So in the winter, with the radiator on, it causes condensation and my system um, starts to get um, water droplets on it. And I thought to myself, in my not so infinite wisdom, oh, well, no, I'll knit it a jacket. Knit your toilet system a jacket, because that's how crazy I am. So I thought, oh, I'll just, it won't hurt. Nobody's going to really see it, only us sort of thing. So I thought, mm, I'll get some wool until I started. And I started off with 200 stitches, okay? How it ended up, I, I, it sort of manifested itself. I had about 500 stitches on this, on this, on this piece of work. And I'm thinking, who the hell have I got 500 stitches when I started with 200? I have no idea. But anyway, I started to unravel it all the other day and then I, I stopped halfway through and I thought, no, no, I must show for a laugh, especially to Melissa, Haunted Whispers, bless her, of my, of my really bad efforts, okay? And then I was thinking of that cheese with the holes in Emmental or something, I don't know what it's called, but you'll know what I'm on about. But this was my toilet jacket, <laughs> my toilet jacket effort, okay? I did quite like the frilly bit look. I did do like a little bit of a frilly bit on the end, okay? Here. Okay, but look at the, look at the poor workmanship here. This wasn't so bad, to be fair. Started off all right, but like I say, I changed pattern, obviously. I went from knit one, purl one, like knitting, to the knit one, purl one, and then stocking stitch here. That wasn't too bad, look. Melissa, look, that wasn't too bad. And then, I don't know, it just went really bad. It's, it's quite big, actually, when I... But like I say, I, I started to unpick it all. I was just ill at the time and I thought, oh, what can I do to sort of um, take my mind off things? But I did quite like, look, guys, I did, <laughs> I did quite like the frilly bit on the end. So, yeah, that was just something I wanted to share um, just for a little giggle, really. So, yeah, so much for the knitting. So I'm not going to bother with that again. And then what I wanted to finish off with um, was a present that my brother built me. It was a sort of um, only a limited edition of these models because he's into building models, my brother is. He's, he's, he's built loads of different models and stuff. Um, but he actually, because as a child, I, and well, all children, they absolutely loved the film Wizard of Oz. And I actually played the Tin Man, believe it or not, when I was in junior school, um, when I was about 11 it well no about 10 years of age and i had to work my dad sprayed this fishing suit up for me and i played the tin man okay it's brilliant performance by the way for everybody who was in that production so my brother for a special birthday of mine made me um this model and i thought i'd show this today just because it's a witchy type of thing okay and it is the wicked witch uh, model here okay and he actually had it from america and um, it's got the, I don't know whether you can see here. I don't know whether I'm going to try and zoom in on this, actually. But let me just see if I can get a better look on this. If I zoom in a little bit. So we have the witch herself, okay, here with a green face. And let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit more. It's going the wrong way. I'm just getting my hands in here, aren't I? Maybe. See, I'm not very good with my camera work, guys. Can't really see the face because of the hat, but her face is obviously under there somewhere. But it's the monkeys. Okay, the monkey. The flying monkeys here. Here he is, look. I used to be petrified of those in that film when I was a kid. Okay, maybe able to see her face a little bit better now, actually. Now I've got it there. But uh, it does light up as well. But obviously if I take the lights off, you're not going to see it on, on the camera here. But yeah, um, he he gave me this. There's a lot of work. It, it looks like it, there isn't a lot of work in it. But when they come, they're just all in. They're just like, uh, let's just zoom back out. They're just in like uh, white mouldings. Okay, so he's done all the paintwork on here. Okay, on, on her face and everything else. Uh, but it does actually light up at the back so that crystal ball he put an LED my brother did that he put an LED in so it actually changes light so in the dark okay it gives a lovely glow it's going to a blue now look so he actually put that in as well it's quite heavy this is as well and it's got wicked witch of the west 
So I thought I would share that with you as well because I, I thought, well, it's been a good day. It's got to have been a good day because we haven't had to release the flying monkeys. <laughs> okay, my lovelies. So that is my little tea and tarot um, edition for this week. I'll just turn the lights off that. But I hope you're all keeping well out there. Um, and, you know, we've just got to keep smiling, my lovelies, and keep doing our witchy, wonderful things. And I do want to shout out um, for somebody who I joined on their Facebook a couple of weeks ago. And it's for Brandy BK. I think you go under Brandy. Um, she's only got a few subscribers, guys. I think it's about 26 subscribers. Um, but her energy is lovely. I totally admire what you're doing because I think she's got six children and she's, uh, she does self-teach from home the kids she does um, music things as well that she teaches uh, dance to, to children please please go and check out and give your support to Brandy because uh, she's a lovely person I, I really connected with her energy um, when I looked at her uh, VTs and, and the stuff she talks about just a really really nice soul so it's a shout out for you as well brandy this week so my lovelies um like i say please check all the information in the description box if it's the first time that you've um, listening to the tm tarot tuesday that the lovely v love and crystals has done for us and all the playlists and everything are underneath and so i will leave you with that and i will look forward to seeing you next time take care then my lovelies bye <laughs>